In just three short days, the Broncos hit the field at AT&T Stadium against the Wisconsin Badgers for the Cotton Bowl. The Broncos have been in Dallas since the beginning of the week. The team, they've been busy ever since. Our Larry Figurski has been following them every step of the way, and he joins us now live from Dallas this morning with what's ahead today and what was waiting for him at the hotel. Yeah, plenty of surprises, Casey, uh, not only from the hotel, but sightseeing trips they've been able to go on, uh, parties, concerts. They were at the Monday night football game here with the Lions. Uh, really, they've been treated extremely well. And, you know, I've been to a number of different bowl games over the years. I know you have as well out at the Rose Bowl uh, most recently with us. This bowl, uh, compared to all the other ones, in all honesty, has the best hospitality, not only for the players and the media, but certainly for the fans who are here. Now, we'll have our last chance today to actually talk with Bronco players before they get shut down heading into the game at as you mentioned, just three days away. We'll have a small defensive group we get to meet with here in a couple hours this morning. That will include Muskegon native Asante Brown. And we had a story on Asante Brown last night and his unique relationship with his high school coach, Matt Koziak. If you missed that, and at this hour of the day, I'm sure most of you did, you can find that right now at woodtv.com. Now back to the Broncos. You mentioned the hotel. They are staying about 25 minutes to the north of us here, uh, north of the stadium in Arlington and north of the media center here in Dallas, up in uh, at the Gaylord, Texas Resort. And boy, have that hotel rolled out out uh, the red carpet, the proverbial red carpet, but the tile floors as well for the Broncos. In fact, they've redesigned them in honor of the Western Michigan players and the Bronco logo, and it's made a big impression uh, not only on the fans, but the players as well. There's like this one hallway when you walk through, they have our names on the on the tile. So I know uh, it's, I know some of the some of the people walking around, they look down. It's kind of amazing to them. And the funny thing is, like the first day I got there, I had that exact same reaction. I saw my name down there. I'm like, oh my gosh, to take pictures on it, lay on the floor, take a picture on there, you know. But yeah, so a couple of people on the actual autographs right there. Yeah, I mean that was probably one of the best parts. Uh, you know, walking through the hotel on the first day, uh, you know, and seeing my name and seeing other players' names and numbers on the on the tile that uh, that definitely made us feel feel special. And, now the Broncos obviously really excited to be here. It's the first time they've been in a New Year's Six Bowl. They lobbied hard with that undefeated season. You get the feeling in some ways that the Wisconsin Badgers aren't quite as excited. They had aspirations of being in the national championship, a Final Four, perhaps the Rose Bowl as Big Ten champions and ended up here instead. They say they respect the Broncos, but check out this quote from Vince Beagle. He's a linebacker from Wisconsin, and it kind of sums up the feeling a little bit. It's a great opportunity. We're excited to be playing in the Cotton Bowl against them, a Western they're referring to, of course. Just us going down there and kind of rewriting their Cinderella story and kind of turning it into our final stamp on our season, end quote. So we'll see. Could it be a case where you have one team really excited to be here and the big favorite perhaps not as excited overlooking them to see that David versus Goliath upset? We'll find that out on Monday night. More live reports coming up from those meetings with the defensive players tonight beginning at 5 o'clock. For now, live in Dallas, Texas, Larry Figurski, 24-hour News 8 Daybreak. Case? All right, Larry, thank you. I'm sure P.J. Fleck uh, will not let the Broncos leave any slippers behind there down at the Cotton Bowl. Our Cotton Bowl coverage is going to continue all weekend long with 24-hour news 8. Larry will be live tonight at 5 o'clock and all weekend long leading up to Monday's 1 o'clock kickoff against number 8 Wisconsin.